As Colonel of the Irish Guard, the Princess of Wales, Catherine, and as such, would usually be present for their St. Patrick's Day parade. However, this year, due to her ongoing recovery from abdominal surgery, the princess will be unable to attend the annual St. Patrick's Day parade, with the British Army being forced to come up with a replacement. It has been claimed that the Ministry of Defense have announced that Lady Geica, wife of the Regimental Lieutenant Colonel Major General Sir Christopher Geica, will replace the princess. Catherine would traditionally be at the parade to hand out shamrocks to officers and warrant officers, who would then issue them among the ranks. However, it is not unusual for a royal not to be present at the event. It's understood that since the tradition began, there have been at least ten separate incidents when a royal has not been able to attend. Major General Sir Christopher Gika has impressive royal credentials, having been put in charge of the military processions for King Charles's coronation, Queen Elizabeth's platinum jubilee, and her and Prince Philip's funerals. Also this morning, King Charles has been pictured for the first time since a row erupted over a photo of his beloved daughter-in-law and grandchildren was shared on Mother's Day. The 75-year-old monarch was seen waving to crowds from the back of his Rolls-Royce as he was driven down the mall. Queen Camilla was also pictured in the vehicle, ahead of her arrival at the Sheltingham Festival this afternoon. Prince William reportedly will welcome Queen Camilla's help in carrying out royal duties amid health battles faced by his father and his wife. When he visited the Oval Cricket Ground to celebrate an Earthshot Prize winner, the former BBC court correspondent Michael Cole insisted that the Prince of Wales won't worry about who did what in the royal family. He added that William would not be jealous of Camilla's more prominent role and would be only too glad to see the responsibility for keeping the royal show on the road shared out between a suddenly reduced number of available working royals. Mr. Cole said that he was fully behind William's stepmother, Camilla, stepping up while the prince was taking a break from public duties during his treatment for cancer. This year has seen a sudden shortage of the frontline royals. The lack of Charles and Catherine carrying out duties has already sparked concerns over the slimmed-down monarchy. But these were intensified when William could not attend the Constantine's memorial last week due to an unspecified personal matter. Source added heavy responsibilities that have been suddenly placed upon the shoulders of the 41-year-old heir to the throne, and that he gets on well with Camilla nowadays. The family's health woes have left William shouldering more of the burden of public duties, while at the same time supporting his wife and helping care for their children. Being fair-minded, kind, and compassionate, characteristics inherited in full from his mother— he will know that Camilla would have been content to remain his father's mistress, as she loved her first husband, Andrew Parker Bowles, who remains a close friend to her. Mr. Cole said Camilla would have been content to remain the Duchess of Cornwall had it been possible. She has no personal ambitions. She's just doing very well in a role that she did not seek, and she's proving to be rather good at it. Prince William will have welcomed that, rather than resenting her success, knowing the truth. If all members of the royal family shine, then that reflects a luster on the very institution of a constitutional monarchy that has served this country so well for a long time. Camilla has taken on a number of duties for the king in recent weeks. Provisional plans are said to have been made for Camilla to represent the royals at the Chelsea Flower Show in May, as well as four events in June, the D-Day 80th Anniversary Commemorations, Garter Day, Royal Ascot, and Trooping the Color.